Etiquette on LinkedIn is very, very important. And a lot of agencies are the worst culprits for doing this. They'll open up communication with people, want them in their their uh, LinkedIn aura as such. They want to tap into their resources of their network, etc. So they want to friend them or whatever they want to call it in LinkedIn. But then they stop communicating. They're all like, oh, oh I've got a contract available, blah, 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 blah. And then the next thing you're going, okay, I'll respond to them. Hi, what? can you give me more information? And then you get nothing. And then you get follow up with another email. Oh, just check in, you got my last email and still get nothing. It's bad relations, it's bad etiquette, it's bad communication skills. Doesn't matter if you're trying to tap into their resources of their network. A lot of people I know would quite happily, if you said, oh, there's several people I want to get in contact with that are in your network, is it okay if I add you on my LinkedIn because I have no other connections with them? And nine times out of ten, I'll say, yeah, I couldn't care less because the whole point of LinkedIn is networking. But at the same time, a lot of time, these are job roles. People are pushing forward, trying to find candidates, and then upsetting the candidates. Um, I had one recently. I turned it down when it came through because the communication lines were opened. And they contact me. Do you want this role? Do you want this? And I said, okay, yeah, get me more information, blah, blah, blah. And then nothing. No responses. And then four emails I sent are oh, varying degree. The first one being, obviously, uh, I've sent you the information. Have you got it? Next one being, I sent you an email on this date. You still haven't responded. Just checking that you got the last two, etc., etc. To the last one is, I will not be contacting you um, until you've contacted myself. I'm not chasing anybody around. But when they eventually go, oh, I'm here again. Um, I couldn't be bothered to contact you because I was still waiting on the client, etc. I'm so important that I don't need to speak to you, which is the way people see this. They turn around and sort of shrug when you go, I'm not interested. I don't want to work for you. I'm not interested in working with you. Communication is a basic skill. If you cannot manage emails, you cannot manage to pay me on time, which is the key element of working together, is trust. If you can't manage the basics of trust, then you're going to lose a lot of clients. And the thing with LinkedIn, you'd never know where anybody's going to go. You could be talking to a guy that's a laborer this year, next year sitting as a director on an independent company that his brother-in-law owns or whatever. You never know where anybody's going. And it's why basic skills of nice etiquette, being nice to each other, polite, and exchanging the relevant information. And if you've got a client holding information or you're unsure of a start date, there is nothing wrong with putting in an email, still waiting for more information, I will email you as soon as I know more because that way you've got control of the the messaging again instead of leaving somebody hanging that is sort of thinking well what's going on you know you you open the communication and now I've got no response whatsoever um, and it goes on so much on LinkedIn which is why I brought this up it's very important and it's basic manners